Well, hello there, YouTube. And welcome to the freaking out guinea fowl. It is Sunday, the 13th of January, and it is 62 degrees out here. And because everything's soaking wet still, we're going to take the old beamer out for a little rip. So I decided to do a little bit of exploring. A little place Ryan told me about. Let's see what it's like to get to that when it's not muddy and wet. Look how this thing still has bugs on it. Isn't that crazy? Leo, that's enough. But uh, anyway, we're going to do a little exploring. We're going to take the old Beamheimer to do that. And I think she'll officially get muddy this time. I'm going to hang that Leo. But man, it feels like it feels like it's like 80 degrees out here. I've got a sweatshirt on and I am cooking. So I can hardly wait till I put my riding jacket on. That'll be fun. But anyway, let's go for a rip. Well, little woman, it's been a minute since I've uh, ridden a motorcycle and I am absolutely burning up like you wouldn't believe. Love to see you, bye. You. I'll be gone just probably an hour and a half. And it's 2.15 now. Exactly 2.15. Alright. Let me see you bye. Oh, what it's like to ride a motorcycle. God, I am so hot. This is like 50, 60 degree weather clothing I got on. But you never know. Oh man, look at this. This would have destroyed the Harley. I'd have never got out without just making a nightmare out of it. So anyway, let's uh, let's go for an adventure. Come on along. All right, so I just uh, oh, just powered it down. Just filled up the GSA for the first time since uh since the day I brought it home. I did that in Vancouver, I think. Jeez, that was in September. No, it was in October. So, I need to uh, rip up here and hit the freeway for a momento or two. Oh, man, Zippy. Oh, look at the bald eagle flying right there. Plain as day. He's a big old honker. Oh, yeah. Hello there, baldy. Take a jaunt down here to the next. Oh, look at this. A motorcycle. To the next exit. Street Glide Special. And we're gonna journey out towards the towards the back roads. Y'all come on along, will ya? <laughs> yeah, it's funny, uh, in the summertime if suddenly you had this nice day and all the leaves and everything were out of the trees and all that wonderful uh green was gone you just be thinking oh this is horrible it looks so bad out here oh this is terrible wang, wang. <laughs> but when you go through uh all that rain and nastiness which i can imagine you guys back east with all that snow and man you know not only you gotta deal with the snow, you gotta wait till it all washes off because of salt and gravel and everything else. So I should uh, I should count my blessings. At least I've been able to get out for little rips on uh, on test rides from here, here and there. But to be able to get out on your own and just go where you want to go, you know, you're not limited to a short test ride at work. <laughs> This feels fantastic. It's amazing all the motorcycles I'm passing out here. It's crazy. Quite a few of them. Well, I tell you what, in the Northwest, you know, with all the rain and nastiness we get when you get a sunny day, they come out and I gotta crack this helmet. That shield is fogging right up. We flat get our motorcycles out. Alright, my road is right here, I think. Right, Chonder. I think 
just seen somebody in a four four by four heading up this way, which means he's gonna be in my way the whole time. Man, that Shift Assist Pro works so good on these 2018s. I haven't heard the details. Of course, I just need to look. But I haven't heard the details of what they did to make this work so much better on the 2018s. If you ever rode 2017, they were much better than the uh, like 13 through, or is it 14 through, whatever. The K5X water boxers. Um, man, those were quite clunky. So my kid said I wouldn't even recognize this area because they logged it so much. I said you'll freak out. No shooting. Well, <clears throat> that kind of don't know the words. And my kid was out here doing something he wasn't supposed to. That gummit. Well, I'll go up here and look at it anyway. Look, just constantly seeing no shooting signs. It's one right after another. Wow, this is really wild looking. This is a Casey Road. Hmm. Well, well, well. Oh yeah, look at that. Man, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> There's no traction control saving me now. She just lights them up. Whoa. Remember, I got those anarchy tires underneath me. This thing will uh, get you sideways in a hurry. When I'm on dirt and I'm on something like this, my mind just says I have dirt tires underneath me until the uh, tires let me know very quickly otherwise. You know, I, I have to be honest. I, I don't know exactly where I'm at. I could tell you right where I was at before, but this was like a tunnel going through here. That's like a goofy kid of mine. He's come up here plinking and didn't know you're not supposed to. Man, I've come up here before. I've never, I've never seen, oh, okay, I know exactly where I'm at. This is a little turnout where people park to unload their dirt bikes to go dirt bike riding. That's literally been there since I was a kid. And there used to be a really cool trail that went out in this section over here that's logged um was logged there's some logging up here that wasn't uh, that i did see and it it took out a lot of these really cool trails man i'd have to be that kid that i was to have them skills there was some uh, in fact they blocked that thing off it was so uh treacherous see there's some of them trails a lot of things are so fun that was the trail that came out and from that, that little parking area, you, pop, you popped out way up here. And you went through a deep forest. It was wonderful. You could either pop out right there, or the main pop out was... I thought it was before this little turnout, but maybe that was it. Yeah, that was the exit of the trail there. Oh man, it was so cool. There were so many obstacles to go through. It was incredible. There's some ATVers out here. That's a nice lookout. I don't want to be sitting up there smooching around by their vehicles. Where's the... Uh, oh. God, that's beautiful. So 
so far, this appears like it was before. But my son set up by the power lines, and I don't think I'm gonna gonna try that to go uh, spritzing through those things. But he said that was a really cool. Oh, this is it right here. So it was a turn off. This is where everybody goes plinking. Oh yeah. You can see all the clay pigeons and everything else that's been shot up here. So this is definitely something we could take the truck out to, but what concerns me is all the uh the no shooting signs. Are people just ignoring that or is it that guy's property? But I seen a sign right at the beginning of the road. So this is the place my son was talking about. So there we are. There it is. I always like pan around through there, see if you see a an elk or a bear or wolf or a coyote or something out there roaming around. You know, I very saw it as a rare thing. But, you know, got people coming and going and things aren't be out here goofing around out in the open. <clears throat> Not with so many people coming and going. Dang, that's steep. But always, uh, and it's upsetting because I want you guys to see just what I see. But it never reveals how steep things are or like you look at a mountain you go oh man look how high that thing is it just looks like a bump that, that's a bummer to the cameras whoa didn't do that <laughs> had my hand on the throttle when I up shifted idiot idiot anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce for the momento and uh I just got a few turns here and I'm back down at the road. And uh, I'll chit chat with you guys then. So I stopped here in the bottom of the hill. That's West Side Highway. That's uh, Casey Road that I was up. Way up in the mountains that you can't tell from here. But anyway, I'm sitting down here swapping the battery out. And I hear just bling, 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 bling. There ain't nobody paying attention to them signs. So, <laughs> go figure, huh? But I'm definitely one of these people that's oh, gonna be uh, gonna be safe. Yeah, let's get everything back on here. There we are. Why do they both say off on the screen? Probably because the bike's not moving. But hey, anyway. Um, yeah, I, I definitely play it safe. If it says don't do something, I'm not going to be the one out there doing something. What it says you shouldn't. Check this out. If this hasn't been sweet enough as it is to go out here for a ride, we're going to catch ourselves a choo-choo train. Oh man, he's on this inside track too. Man, he is crawling. That's awesome. Used to be able to drive across that thing. Oh, that's incredible. Let's turn the bike off. We need to hear all of this. Got the old cars that get tagged. There's some pretty beautiful stuff on there sometimes, you know it? There's the end. See a train? 
too bad you don't use caboose, cabooses anymore. I miss the old cabooses. Alrighty. That'll be that for that. Oh, does this feel so good. 54 degrees it's saying. Oh man, I couldn't be any happier. How beautiful. Sunshine. sounds so good man if you haven't ridden one of these things it is pure pleasure such a unique sound that funky boxer sound but I absolutely love it well I have found myself back in Toledo with Mount St. Helens gleaming over the trees out there if I can stand up maybe you guys can see it between the trees there why do I keep trying that? But anyway, I guess I'm going to roll on up the hill there and see what the little mama's doing. Road glide of some sort. No mistaking them. sunshine I would have loved to keep going look at this it, it's about 405 or whatever it is look where that sun's at nice anyway I backed this thing up here so I can pull the bags off and, and throw them in the shop so I don't have to like go past the spider and all that stuff it's just easier just to walk through the door there if I don't say it later thanks for coming along for the ride and uh, that was a whole bunch of fun. Found what I was looking for. It was right where Ryan said it was. All right. Good old cow. Well, hello there, YouTube. Imagine this. It's daylight out here. What a Look. concept. <laughs> That's the first time we've done a goodbye vlog with any light in the sky in a long, long time. That's crazy. Yeah, that's really weird. But uh, I, I did a, a, a tremendous amount of recording today. So we're just going to make this kind of a, a quick goodbye. Nothing, pretty much all I did today, I did a bunch of research on some stuff that made me very mad because I couldn't find an answer to it. But, um, you know, just old history stuff I was trying to figure out. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, took me too long to get out. I, got, I was going to find the answer to this thing and couldn't. And I said, well, I'm going for a ride. I'm getting out of here. And he, but that was very relaxing, very, very fun. Very fun. It felt so good to just go out and there'd be sunshine and oh, beautiful no and everything. But uh, we'll, we'll sort something out for a, for a plinking place. We'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll find a place. <laughs> but we can easily get there with the truck. It was right where Ryan said it was. So. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't want to get up. He said by the power lines. I'm thinking that's just red, soupy clay, and I could just see us getting on a side hill and them street tires on that Honda slipping and us yeah, going into a good. bank or worse. <laughs> that would be our luck. Yeah, that'd be fun to explain to the insurance company. Well, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we're gonna roll on that. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up and have an amazing Sunday or Monday. Heck yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll get brave and just drive on out there anyway. Yeah. Never know. <laughs> Didn't stop them. No. All right. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. You Thank guys you. take care. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. And take care too. Yes. All righty. Bye-bye now. See ya.